When is this vegan stuff gonna end? When? When? Yes, veggies are great. Yes, we should be getting a lot of fiber in, but uh, only eating vegetables? I'm not a fucking cow, bruh. I like my meat to be grass-fed, but that's about it. There is another professor. This dude goes by the YouTube name of Swole Normus. He's a self-proclaimed fitness expert. He likes the tortured body parts of pigs in his coffee with the side of group one carcinogens, of course, but this is a picture that was taken five years ago, so maybe he's changed the way he drinks his coffee, and he seems to be just a dude who lives in Miami who's trying to make a name for himself. Here's Sol Normus training squats with a female who he can't advise or coach to at least squat to parallel, or God forbid, below parallel, which I find interesting because Sol Normus himself does know how to squat to below parallel. That's some legit expert fitness guidance, bruh. But whatever, bro. That was from a video that was posted over two years ago. And let's give the guy the benefit of the doubt and assume he's learned since then. Now this video isn't gonna be on Swole Normus's coaching or training abilities as that was not the topic that happened to catch my eye. It was actually a few months ago, Swole Normus posted a video addressing a random tweet about a plant-based burger that somebody else tweeted. All right, so I got this message on Instagram and someone shared a picture from Twitter and I'm gonna post it up in the video here. It's gonna be like over here or something by my beard. But listen to this post. This is more vegan shit. What a great fucking way to start the new year with some vegan shit. Da -da 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 -da. When is this vegan stuff gonna end? When? When? Yes, veggies are great. Yes, we should be getting a lot of fiber in, but uh, only eating vegetables? I'm not a fucking cow, bruh. I like my meat to be grass-fed, but that's about it. Okay, this guy clearly doesn't know the first thing about nutrition or what encompasses a whole foods plant-based lifestyle or a vegan lifestyle for that matter. You see, vegans don't just eat vegetables. You see, vegans eat meat, cheese, Legumes, nuts, seeds, spices, herbs, fruits, and yes, vegetables. But wait, vegans eat meat and cheese? What are you talking about, Willis? Vegans eat meat. Uh -huh, uh -huh. Vegans eat meat. Yeah, bro. Vegans just don't eat meat that is derived from the carcass of a dead animal. And yes, vegans eat cheese. We just don't eat cheese that is sourced from the infected udders of a raped cow. Just because the source of the cheese that I'm talking about doesn't come from the infected udders of an abused cow doesn't mean it isn't cheese. You see that pus milk you slather across your flesh burger or that pus milk you shove down your baby's throat is quite fucking disgusting and disrespectful to the animal and the baby calf you stole it from. But that's a different topic and let's not let this video get too out of hand. We don't wanna be too militant now, do we? I completely understand this information may be overwhelming to a borderline dimwit like the professor here, but he has not entered the ranks of the dimwits yet, not yet, at least or hopefully ever we can pray the professor never descends to such ranks though. Let's just do that for him. In the meantime, let's look at what's the big fuss about this plant-based burger tweet. So let's read what she has. And again, it's probably right over here somewhere. Carl's fucking junior. Is that what we're calling Mick fucking Donald's burger fucking king? Carl's fucking junior will have beyond meat hamburger patties starting January 2nd. The fuck is beyond meat? Probably some vegan stuff, right? All of them, I repeat, all of them in all caps. She's such a fucking dumb cunt. Ooh, he said the C word. What a class act and a gentleman. I'm sure the ladies just love this guy. Their website claims that their sesame buns are free of animal byproducts. What a fucking time to be vegan and a junk food lover. Parentheses, don't forget to tell them no dairy. And it says here, 956 retweets. Who knows how many other people retweet after this picture was sent to me because I didn't go to this person's Twitter page. She sounds like a dumb fucking brick. What the fuck does he sound like? I mean, does anyone else's brain hurt? And I apologize, but don't worry. We're gonna get through this. Let's keep pushing forward. 
Oh. First off, I'll knock on vegans and have fun with that because they'll come in the comments and they'll rage. But it's fine. If you want to be a vegan, fine. More meat for me and all that good stuff, right? I'm not telling you to eat red meat every fucking day, six meals a day. But yes, quality animal products are fine. I'm not saying factory farming is okay because that's a hot mess. Nothing's perfect in this world. You're killing tons of animals by picking up crops and shit with the machines and everything too. You're killing tons of animals by picking up crops and shit with the machines and everything else. Oh shit. Guys, it's over. I, he's debunked us. He got one on us. Call, call it in. It's over. I, I gotta call my mom. Mom, it's over. Veganism. It's been debunked. Mm -hmm. No, so, some guy with, with long hair and a beard says we're killing tons of animals by picking up crops and shit with machines. Yeah. No, mom, it wasn't. No, I didn't say that. I can't grow a beard, mom. Damn it. I'm gonna have to throw some science at this. This is just getting out of control. You see, the professor doesn't seem to know that the majority of the crops grown in the US are used to feed livestock, which would make sense, you see, since the United States alone is responsible for murdering about 9 billion farm animals each year. The US population is upwards of 325 million. Now, I'm no mathematician here, but last I checked, 9 billion is greater than 325 million, right? And since 99% of animals are raised in factory farms, then what the hell are these animals eating? Oh, it, okay, the, the animal, they're eating, they're eating the crops. Well, so whatever the majority of animals that do die because of crop farming is because of animal agriculture. And just to nail this point completely shut, a study was published in 1993 on 33 mice that were radio checked uh, within a week before harvesting some grain from a crop field. Out of the 33 mice, 97% of the mice survived. One mouse happened to die because of the harvester, although not good, but maybe this is just natural selection doing its magic. I don't know, I'm not judging. Point being is animals are not stupid. If they see a giant moving thing coming in their, their direction or if they hear loud noises, animals have a, a tendency to run away and seek shelter because you see it's natural survival instinct. Similar to the way a cow tries to run away before a knife is used to slit its throat so that people can enjoy a few moments of mouth pleasure. Besides, has anyone ever turned the light on in their kitchen in the morning to surprisingly find a random insect or worse, a rat or mouse? Those things scurry away faster than Kino Body runs towards a phallus shaped bottle he can suck on till it's time for him to break his fast. True story. Unless of course you get one of those little brave mice that just stares at you wondering how you got this hidden sanctuary so spontaneously bright so suddenly. Touche little guy. Touche. So it's complete bullshit. Animals aren't as stupid as homeboy thinks, unless of course he's maybe talking about himself. Then in that case, that statement may be substantiated. But hold on here. What about free range cattle? Well, free range simply isn't sustainable. The US alone slaughters over 32,189,000 cows every single year. And each cow requires between two to five acres of land to graze. So let's just be conservative here and say hypothetically that each cow was given three acres of land to graze. That would equate to 96,567,000 acres of land just for grazing and this is just for cattle and not accounting for chickens, turkeys, ducks, pigs, sheep, horses, and any other animal the US decides to enslave. So free range is absolutely unsustainable as the US only has 1.9 billion acres of land to you know live and do other shit other than raising animals to then just slaughter them later. Besides why would anyone raise an animal to then just ruthlessly murder it if it isn't necessary and it's not even good for you? Please feel free to rebuttal that specific statement. Either way, let's truck along. Thing too. So no one's perfect and nothing's perfect. One thing I do know is that we're here on earth today. We survived by eating fucking meat. So we are here today because of meat. 
Any proof of that? Of course not. You know what, I apologize for asking such a thing because you know, he is a professor and professors have this incredible capability to make their own mouths impersonate their assholes. I mean, it's quite baffling. So you know what, that's my bad. You see, nomads back in the year 100,000 BC may have hunted animals when necessary as a source of energy because you see, it was survival. They had to do what they needed to do to survive. You see, food wasn't available in abundance as it is today, so therefore, you ate what was available or you died. So the professor here is apparently comparing himself and society to a fucking nomad trying to survive in the wild. Or maybe he just thinks that meat is essential because he does zero research on nutrition. He apparently doesn't understand that animal products are not necessary and are definitely not health foods. Even if they're raised in this magical free range fairy tale land, the professor doesn't seem to know the dangers of consuming animal products due to their disease inducing nutrients and byproducts such as saturated fat, trans fat, cholesterol, endotoxins, heme iron, heterocyclic amines, animal proteins, and a slew of other shit people are not supposed to be consuming because it causes or promotes cancer and disease. I'll retract everything I just said and go straight carnivore if the professor or anyone else can prove to me that any of these animal byproducts are healthy because there is a metric shit ton of evidence to say otherwise. Moving on. Fucking time to be a vegan and a junk food lover. That's the problem with all this shit. And I do feel for vegans in this sense. When I talk about vegans, I make fun of vegans. I'm not talking about people that are really trying to, you know, be good to the environment. I'm not talking about people that are really trying to find a better way for them to be healthy. I'm not knocking people that are trying to find their own path for true health. I'm knocking the militant vegans that are out there with fucking pitchforks. Yeah, don't kill animals. I'm knocking those fucking people, the ones that have seen way too many Disney movies. And this type of shit, this type of person gives vegans a bad reputation, okay? The junk food vegans. You can have candy, you can have chips, you can have soda, and be a vegan, right? No animal products. So this kind of shit is bullshit. And I thought I'd share it with you because what better way to start off the year than with some vegan bullshit. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you go and spam her fucking page and call her a dumb cunt because that's what she is. And anyone who agrees with this kind of stuff is a dumb fucking cunt. Wow, uh, doesn't seem like this tweet was about nutrition at all, but apparently practicing your right to freedom as an American or whichever country this vegan is from to eat whatever junk food she wants or whatever junk food you want to eat and talk about it apparently makes you a dumb cunt. And uh, militant vegans with pitchforks are dumb cunts too? Okay, this shit's gonna get really ugly in the next few seconds. Click off this video right now if you've got sensitive eyes and sensitive ears. In five, four, three, two, one, you've been warned, here we go. Would you say needlessly contributing to the murdering of animals is cunt-like? Would you say needlessly raping cows repeatedly for their secretion so you can have some butter in your coffee? cunt-like? Would you say ripping a mother's baby calf away from her so that people can drink her milk rather than her own baby? cunt-like? Would you say these people here who are actually trying to help other people, the planet and the animals, cunt-like? Or would you call some outspoken professor who doesn't know what the fuck he's talking about a cunt? I wouldn't. I'll just call it as I see it without the bullshit. A bona fide professor. So congratulations to the professor. He's made the team and professor, if you are watching this video, I await your response. If you've got time, I know you're busy pumping out that shitty content. Either way, I'm sure you love the video and everyone else did. So if you could please do your boy a favor, make sure to hit that thumbs up button. If you're new to the channel, make sure to subscribe so I can keep you updated on the weekly. I'm the natural, so I wanna thank you for watching and please, Stay tuned for the next one.